Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. Many of you have downloaded my free Adobe Audition presets. If you haven't done so already, click the link in the description to this video and go grab them. I'm going to show you how to load them into Adobe Audition so that you can use them in a useful way later. Take a look at my screen. This is what you'll get when you open the presets session file. Mic compression, mic echo, mic processing, mic EQ, mic big and wide. And of course, there are five more bonus presets if you head to download my initial presets. Now, you can use this method for both of those preset session files, simply go through each track and you'll notice over here in the effects rack you get a certain preset, so dynamics processing. And when I open that up and drag over the rack effect there, you'll see that is my compressor. Now all I'll do is click this button, save settings as a preset and call it mic compressor or of course your name of choice, click OK and it will forever be in your drop down there as a preset even when you've closed this session file. Same applies to the other track, so mic echo again, double click the echo in the effects rack and drag over the rack effect if it's not showing up, uh, save it in and I'm going to call it mic echo, no surprises there, so I've got that preset and ready to go. The same for mic processing. This is a little bit different because it's got three different effects there, dynamics processing, graphic EQ, and studio reverb. So I'm going to click the Save button here, which is saving the effects rack as a preset for the multi-track, and I'll call it, well, nothing too original, Processed, which is my favorite process to put on voiceovers. Then, of course, Mic EQ, that's the graphic EQ, 20-band graphic EQ, that I'm going to drag in and save as. I like to call this one Mic Sparkle. And there we go, click OK to save, that's done. And finally, mic big and wide is there. And again, that's something else that if you want, you can save as an effect into the multi-track because there are four different processes. But you get the idea, I hope that's helped you. And if you'd like to get my free presets and you haven't already got them, just click the link in the description to this video.